Hello, and glad you're joining us here on CBS 8 Plus. This is now your extended weather forecast, where we can take some time and explain to you what's going on with this heat. It's going to impact a lot of you here for the weekend, too. So we are calling for weather impact alert days. By the way, I'm meteorologist Netta Irampor. Hello to you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, here's what weather impact days mean. Well, excessive heat can be dangerous for us here in San Diego, the county west of the mountains. Get ready. We're talking temperatures well into the triple digits, 102 to 112 degrees. That's inland valleys, places like Poway, El Cajon, Santee. You could get that hot. East County especially, but uh, it's going to be hotter west of the mountains than it will be on the mountains. These are desert-like temperatures. So the heat alerts that the Weather Service has issued have now all been extended until Monday night. You're being asked to please avoid strenuous activity outdoors, Get inside with that air conditioning, find shade, drink a lot of water. Hopefully you are already hydrating here. Uh, for today, the impacts will be between 10 and 4 p.m. I know that's a lot of hours, uh, but that's when the high heat will really be upon us, which, of course, is why you're going to want to try to avoid being outside during these times. That's a huge chunk of the day for a weekend. I know that's hard to avoid being outside. But if you can, do short trips outdoors, uh, take any kind of workouts you're planning to do, maybe kids' sporting events indoors if at all possible. So the games might have to be rescheduled to early morning or afternoon to try to avoid that triple-digit heat, especially inland. Uh, looking right now, it's 8.01 as of the recording of this uh, forecast here in the morning. So 80 degrees in Julian right now. It's already 83 in Alpine. 83 in Hamul, 81 in La Mesa. So you're already very warm out there. We didn't see our temperatures drop that much overnight. Unfortunately, there's some moisture that was out there. So typically when it's really dry, that allows big swings between highs and lows, but that did not happen. So we had a little increase in humidity. So temperatures didn't get too uh, cold overnight. For this uh, afternoon, for downtown San Diego, some forecast models are putting it all the way up to 91 degrees. So that looks to be where we could get. Yesterday, we got to 89 downtown. Uh, places like Ramona, you got all the way up to 111 degrees. So today might be uh, exact repeat of that or maybe even one to two degrees hotter. Look at San Ysidro today, 95 degrees. That's going to be really uncomfortable. Hopefully people have air conditioning in a lot of these communities, but I know a lot of San Diego homes and businesses don't have air AC. Uh, Santee and El Cajon, you're going to need it there. 103 degrees, 98 in La Mesa for the afternoon, 86 for National City, uh, 98 in Mira Mesa. Obviously at the coast, it will be cooler, but 92 in Oceanside. That's not normal. Our beaches should be right around the mid upper 70s. So we are anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees above average. 101 in RB today, 103 in Poway, Ramona 110. Uh, so that heat will certainly stick around, unfortunately, through the weekend. A lot of what you're seeing now might increase even more by Sunday. So excessive heat warning now extended through Monday at 8 p.m. Heat advisory for the coast also extended through Monday at 8 p.m. That was supposed to expire tonight, but unfortunately that heat is uh, going to be prolonged. That ridge of high pressure is very, very stubborn. So this is why Western United States has a lot of warnings to let you know about. All these fire weather warnings in the red, excessive heat warnings in the pink, and then that lighter orange there, heat advisory. So that extends up north. If you were hoping to get relief maybe by leaving San Diego, uh, just know there's not much along the West Coast that won't be impacted. Our inland five-day forecast here. Through Sunday, 105 degrees. By Monday, 99. That's still another hot day. 93 for Tuesday. That's finally when it starts to ease up. Little hope for a more comfortable weather where it won't be as miserable to be outside. Here's that big ridge of high pressure. So this is what I'm talking about. Look at what it does over the next few days. It's still there. This is Saturday by noon. It's still there. Sunday, still there. Even Monday, it's hovering just to the east of us. And then that green way, way up there, that's the troughing that we so desperately need. So by Tuesday, Wednesday, that will get a little closer, nudging that ridge out of here. So if you want to go to the beach, I will say that's going to be a popular spot. Uh, just know that you'll probably need to get there early. Reserve your location wherever you want to be. One to three foot waves, the potential four footers. There's a light mixed swell coming through. This would be for uh, La Jolla Shores. That area is forecast. Uh, water temperature anywhere ranges from 71 to 74 degrees. So 72 on average. Rip current risk will be low today. Now, high tide is at 1120. 
and low tide is at 5.43 p.m. So want to point that out because if you are heading to the beach in the afternoon hours, just know the tide will be working its way back. Uh, so that means you'll be okay. The water won't come wash over your towels. Uh, looking at that seven-day forecast for the coastline first, uh, here we go. By Sunday, can you believe that? 99 degrees. Some of these forecast models are putting downtown San Diego that hot on Sunday, there's a day game that we're supposed to be going to. Padres Giants series starts today. Well, one o'clock game on Sunday at Petco Park. Oh, yeah, you're going to need to be in the shade. All the ice cream, the stuff that keeps your body cool. Make sure you're protected from the sun. Uh, through Monday, we're staying in the 90s. And then Tuesday, mid 80s. By, by Wednesday, Thursday, that is going to be a nice, nice treat. Mid-70s for us. That's finally normal, but not until Wednesday, Thursday. So think about that. We've already been dealing with a hot week. Now we have four more days with these weather impact alert days. That marking in red is there to show you uh, how dangerous this can be. So the weekend plans, if you were going to be outside, kids have, you know, softball games, soccer games, things like that. Again, we may need to move those times or the dates because inland, this is too hot. Uh, our people in San Diego are not used to this. These are, we're not used to desert weather uh, for our inland communities. Uh, but as you see, the deserts actually are going to be cooling down a little bit uh, by Sunday. It's going to be hotter in our inland valleys, hotter than the deserts, believe it or not, for some of you. In the mountains also, uh, it's going to be cooling down through the weekend. The heat comes over the mountains and then west, and that's why uh, it's going to be hotter on the inland valley sides. Now, looking at Wednesday, Thursday, those are welcome sights to see, right? That's when we'll finally get to breathe a little easier. I uh, won't have to crank up our AC as much. So thanks for joining us here on CBS 8+. Plus. That's going to do it for uh, our extended weather forecast. Bye-bye. Have a good one.